Grab your copies of Pilates for Athletes and Power Yoga for Athletes below. Hello there, it's Coach Vig Vogue, but with an eye, welcome to my wooded set, my green screen back there. If it was the 80s, it'd be my blue screen. It's Coach Vig Vogue, but with an eye. Did I say that already? Okay. Uh, quick thing, you guys skip ahead at the beginning of the workout. I had a thought. It's a thought that goes through my head every time, I think, before I film, and I film thousands of videos. And the same when I teach classes or when I did professional theater, before I would do a performance, like I'm very energized. I'm coming over here to film, I walk on a trail, I'm with Addy, I'm excited, I have my notes, I'm thinking about it, I'm breathing. And then right when I get here and start to set up, every time, pretty much 95% of the time, my energy drops, my focus drops. Same thing before I teach a class. And when I did theater, I was ready to go on stage for a performance. And I was all ready, then I kind of went, uh, my focus dissolved a little bit. It happens pretty much every time. It seems to work okay, because I'm right here. Before I film, I dip down. And then once I hit record, it starts to climb back up. It ascends back up to where it needs to be. I haven't screwed around with that too much, because it seems to work for me. Uh, we all have our little quirks, don't we? Our little idiosyncrasies. Do you have any before you do a workout? Is there some something you always do before you start a workout, something you have to do. Like on Raymond, his brother always touches his chin with the food thing, puts it in his mouth. <laughs> you do something like that. Um, I have other ones too, but that's up, down, up. Okay, check in below, comment below. Let me know you're with me. I wanna improve my own practice. I was thinking about that the other night. Am I improving, am I getting better? Am I getting more results and benefits every time I train, whether it's on the mat or with weights or running through the woods naked. Want well, to make sure that, you know, I'm on the right track. So with that in mind, this is a flow. I'm gonna challenge myself. I hope it challenges you. This is power yoga. It's more athletic. You're gonna build up a sweat, raise the heart rate, breathe harder. Share this with anybody who definitely needs a body weight only workout. Anybody you can always modify as needed. Let's begin with downward facing dog. Addy's hovering around. Let's walk the legs. Stretch it out. And see right now my energy and focus is starting to go back up. I don't know if it's a good thing. <laughs> I kind of rely on hitting record on the camera and then boom, I just pop back up. Stretch it out. Let's do 10 more steps. One, two, three, four. Addy fur all over my face. Where is she? Okay. Oh, she's right there. You guys can see her. I'm taking a risk not putting her on her long line. We're out in the woods here. Let me know if she wanders off. All right, inhale forward, plank. Down, all the way down to the mat. Hey, sweetie. Cobra, shoulders back and down, open the chest. Exhale down, press back, downward facing dog. Let's keep flowing. Take that left leg up. Whoa, that was planned, wasn't it? Bring the left foot forward, lunge, shoulders back. Good, relax, let, let your body chip it away. Sink down, stretch that back leg, arms up. Wiggle the fingers. Wiggle the toes, let your breath keep refueling you. Cactus arms, we open the chest. Good, hands down, step back down, dog. Let's take the other leg up. I think Addie brought some pine needles with her. Right foot forward, and here we are. Ooh. Good, loose, stretch it out, open the chest. Hands down, plank, forward. Give me a little hover here, slow it down if you're able. Elbows are gonna really squeeze the ribs. Legs back, cobra, lift. Little elasticity in the old spine. Right at ease, lower down, press back, down dog. Now here's where it gets fun. Take that right leg up, open. Down dog, scorpion, lift and open. Now, down dog, scorpion, to pigeon. I believe we did this recently, somewhere, sometime, for, with good reviews. So bring the right leg forward. There's pigeon, lift up, tall. Keep it loose, keep those shoulders loose, back and down. Back, open, open, forward. Good. Work out the kinks. We all get little kinks. Some of us listen to the kinks. The music group, okay, Roy Davies. Lift, slide that back leg back, up and over. Extra twist, extra stretch, pigeon. 
good. Sink it down, opening the hip. Okay, let's do two more. Lift, take the arms out if you like. Remember, the mat is your oyster. The world is your oyster with these flows. They are designed to keep unlocking your potential. We all have that potential, but you gotta work at it. You gotta work, put in the time. All right, other side, open. Hold for an extra breath. Hmm, got some smells of summer here. Open. There's the pigeon. This leg is sliding back. The top and bottom connect together with your core. And forward. Effortless movement. Who fixed the blouse? Good. This leg comes up and then opens. You're lifting and opening, sinking this right heel down. <sighs> Open further, shoulders back. Let's do two more. Shoo. Little twists and one more each one. Draw that left shoulder back. There's another little domino in the row of dominoes that help you with that chain of movement. Break those chains of love. Okay, step back, plank. Forward, hover, slow. Work those muscles all the way through the movement. One big range of motion, cobra or upward facing dog. Opening the chest. Hey, Addy girls. Exhale, downward facing dog. Get, uh, do a little dance, get the pine needles off the mat. Now walk the feet forward. Bend the knees, forward fold. Oh, I used to get a little cavitation right up here. A little adjustment. Got this wild grizzly walking around the set wearing the cutest little harness. Extra breath. Good. Unwind that spine. You got to keep it loose. Keep it loose. Keep it mobile. Inhale, flat back. Fingers on the mat or fingers on the shins. You got a long spine. Get it longer, make it longer. Hands down, plank. <sighs> Forward to plank, right knee across, add a twist. <sighs> Let's do 10, here's two. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Four, that twist makes all the difference. Five, six, seven. Buffer it with the breath, eight. Nine, Addy girl, and 10. I always go to falsetto with Addy. Plank forward, down. Keep an eye on the doggy, cobra or up dog. Hold for an extra breath. Come here. Mwah. More fur. She does that with love. Downward facing dog. Let's walk and twist. Give me an extra twist here. You want an even bigger one? Bring the leg back a little bit. Bring the foot back. I mean, I call this a dancing down dog. <sighs> Emphasizing a twist, lengthening and twisting. <sighs> How's that feel? You gotta, you gotta, there's the slang. <laughs> Keep your body loose, limber, pliable. The circulation is strong. The muscles are supple. The muscles can be ageless. Just gotta train the right way. All right, down dog, stretch it forward, knees down, take it back, open. You have a big opening here. It's a little spontaneous movement, but really all movement is spontaneous. If that tree fell towards me, it'd be spontaneous. I would roll out of the way. Good, big opening. Man, I wrote down some doozies here. All right, hands down, downward facing dog. Walk or jump forward. We have chair, lace the fingers. We come down, feel free to do a little twist. A little rocking side to side. Getting the glutes involved. Oh, 
All right, lace the fingers behind, bend the knees, mudra, three breaths. Draw the arms back. Get some shoulder, I mean, delicious shoulder mobility into the shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Release down slowly. Nose itches. Lace the fingers again, press back. Go rocking side to side. Keep the weight back in your buttocks, in your heels. Okay, again, dive down, three breaths. What you got? You feel your body releasing? Instant results, instant <coughs> improvement. Slowly drop the arms. Dun, dun, dun. I want to live forever. Okay. <laughs> Flat back, fingers floor or shins, or we call this your mat, I suppose. Okay. Hands down, step back to plank, vinyasa flow. When I was growing up, I think half my class, the guys were named Matt. Cobra or up dog, bring it up. Let me bring in some cobra twists or up dog twists. Let's start with the cobra part. So shoulders back, we press into one arm, lengthen up and then down, back and forth. I would say exhale up, inhale down or reverse it. As long as you're breathing good inhales and exhales, your body will approve. If you wanna do the up dog version, come over like this. Do 10 more, either one. Getting a great workout in your shoulders and triceps. And some lengthening and twisting. Seems to always come back to the spine, doesn't it? Keeping the spine lengthened and open and the blood flowing. Okay, lower down. <laughs> Reach back, lace the fingers open. Since the gym, well, at the filming of this, I think the gym is opening in like a week. It's been closed though for a couple months. Lift the legs up too if you like. I've been working out at home. I work out at night. I have a pull-up tower in my garage. I hardly have any space, but there is space to do pull-ups. Wide grip, middle, underhand, close grip, negative pull-ups, frozen pull-ups. So I put on some in excess live or Queen or Journey, all live. I like live recordings and I just do pull-ups for about 20 minutes. I was doing them last night and oh, my wings, I'm feeling them. Okay, down, press back, child's pose. Sway it back and forth. Get some nice movement, movement. For some of you doing this, this child's pose might, might be the most challenging part, it can be. It's usually what we're not used to doing, what our mind is not conditioned to do. If a workout is always just bam, 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 if we take time to really loosen up, that can be a challenge. But it is a worthy, worthy challenge for what it does to our longevity. All right, bring it forward. Cobra or up dog. I tell you what, let's do either that cobra twist or the up dog twist again 10 times. I wanted to do that again, so I'm being a little selfish. Four, five, six. But hey, I don't know what you're doing there. You could be sitting on the couch eating a pizza. I hope it's a good pizza. Did you just hear me say that? Somebody just said, hey, how do you know that? Well, I am Danish and I have a third nipple, so I, am, I have ESP, I'm clairvoyant. All right, back to down dog. That's the title of my autobiography. Inhale forward, plank, exhale down. Again, reach back this time, bend the legs, lift up, shark pose. Let's move it back and forth. Movement, oh, beautiful movement. I think the musical Oliver had the song, Food Glorious Food. I like either movement, glorious movement, or flow, glorious flow. Any excuse to come out here and train, all right, release. Let's take it to dolphin, forearms down, palms flat. 
eclectic flow I know. You could hold it here, modify with the knees down, or rock it forward and back. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Ten more breaths, either one. One. Two, dig in, dig in, Get, dig deeper. Hit puree. Four. Oh, there it is, five. Relax those shoulders. Six, learn to let it go. Not just as Pixar wants you to, but let it go, let it go. I let go of my counting all the time. I'm gonna do two more, two more. Beautiful dolphin, knees down. Woo. Again, open up, arms back, Adelaide. Oh. You know what musical character she's named after, Adelaide? You know what musical that's from? Mm. One more breath. Mm. Oh. All right, pop it up. Give me a sumo squat. I've been doing this as a finisher lately, this little series. Maybe we'll tweak it slightly. Why don't you bring your hands down? So we're pressing down and back, shoulders are back, and add a twist. Look at this, really ratchet up your mobility in your sides and your shoulders. Shoulders. I don't know where I get that accent from. You know, I grew up in Southern California, but I lived in Wisconsin for about 18 years. I don't know if I really have an accent. Hmm. I was told once it was a Chicago one, but I don't think so. The Bears, that's what I think of. <laughs> Let's do four more. Two more each side. One. Get a little lower to the ground. Two. Three. You're doing good work, my friend. This is the work. This is what has to be done. Point the feet forward. Dive down. Grab the opposite arm. Sway back and forth. Four breaths. Garland, hands here, forearms or all the way down, hands together. Uh oh, Addie's wandering off. We're just about done. I'll have to go wrangle my bear. <whistles> Addie's, come here. She really doesn't listen to me. I hope you're listening to me. I hope we're doing this together. Addie will just wander off into another state. I think she's in New Mexico by now. Back and forth, add some side lunges, bring the leg out. And then over. So look at this little twist here. We're coming down right here. Like you're auditioning for the Avengers. A new superhero, perhaps. Side to side. There is a tree over there. She likes to go sit underneath. All right. Side to side. Let's do it one more time each side. Feels good. Good balance. Turn it around. Down dog, hold for five breaths, hands further forward, lengthen it out. Look at that, Matt's hot, isn't it? Definitely summer in the air. It's about 55 degrees here, but in the Colorado sun, everything's about 10 degrees warmer. That's why I put on plenty of sunscreen. Okay, down. That was a long down dog. Give me a long cobra. Arms out, lift up. If you like, take the hands closer, but shoulders down. Five breaths. Oh, my back feels good. I lament sometimes because, eh, you know, sometimes I go, I, I want to do weights and I want to do pull ups, I want to do squats. And, uh, Sometimes even myself, I'm like, I don't want to stretch. I whine about it. I don't want to stretch. But last night I went down and did about 10 minutes of pigeons. Come here, sweetie. We'll finish this with Addie and I. One more breath. Good timing, Addie. Come here, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> oh, ow. Well, that was unpredictable. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I didn't know I looked that good. Come here, sweetie. Let's sit down. All right, my friends. Coach Vig, Vogue, but with an eye. Thank you for Addie, to Addie, for giving that beautiful splash at the end. Wow, that was amazing. That's the big dance number right there, the big 
uh, amorous scratch fest. Check in below, leave your comments. Uh, let me know below if you have any idiosyncrasies, something you do, some uh, each time before you do a workout. I, I said that my energy always drops. I get kind of uh, whiny. Then once I hit record, I feel a lot better. Something else I do is I usually comb my hair for a while. I look at my nose, I just comb my hair. It's like I'm in a production of Grease or something. <laughs> There's lots of things. I, I can think of more other ones for other videos, but great workout, my friends. I hope this helped. Share it on, share it with everyone, share it with teammates, friends, coaches, teachers. Uh, if you are an athlete, or at least if you're an athletic supporter, eh, uh, don't share it with your rivals. That's a big no-no. Keep it to yourself. All right, my friends, God bless you. Coach V, over and out. Back to my woods to go find an orc. Hey, it's Coach Vig again. You remember me? Uh, let me tell you something. If you enjoyed this video, I have a free gift just for you. It's one of my most popular members-only videos from the brand new Sean Vig Fitness app. Now, all you have to do is click the link below, either in the About section or the pinned comment. It'll take you to another page. You put in your email, and boom, that video will be sent to you right away. Ooh.